Today I explain how to stay anonymous on the internet more simply and using a form of Linux that is completely anonymized. <laughs> Way Weekly. I'm the host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis, and yes, you may call me that. And of course, if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, ask at tqaweekly.com. Or you can always head over to my website, tqaweekly.com, and use the contact form in the contact section. Of course, for this specific episode and all other episodes I have done, and we are currently at 124, I provide show notes with sources and the links to the downloads I talk about in each show. And this one is no different. tqaweekly.com slash se3ep24. There are times in your life you want to be anonymous, completely anonymous. You don't want people to know you use this specific computer and you don't want anyone to know you've been to a specific website on the internet. So what you would normally try to do is use a Linux live disk on a computer that you don't want anybody to know that you're using to be able to access the inter well, the internet or any other functions without modifying the hard drive. Then you'd have to get another USB jump drive, plug that in, load Tor, download Tor temporarily to memory and connect onto the internet using the Aurora browser and then you keep having to do that every single time and you're not anonymous from the get-go. Well, here is a way to bypass the whole process. So what you're gonna need is a USB key, me it was a watch, a blank DVD and a operating system called TAILS. TAILS stands for the Amnesic Incognito Live System. The live operating system, which is TAILS, is a form of Debian GNU Linux. Ubuntu is based off Debian. So for those who have already used Ubuntu, you will feel at home with this. It doesn't look like the newer version. It looks like the classic Ubuntu, which honestly I prefer. And what ha has been done to this version of Debian is that it's been specifically modified never to modify the hard drive of the computer the live disk is being hosted in. You don't install this, you use it from the disk or a USB jump drive. What it does is instead of trying to use swap space on the hard drive that it may see, it completely uses your RAM. In other words, it only uses your RAM to be more accurate. When you shut down, it wipes the RAM clean so nobody knows what has been going on with your computer. To get Tails, by the way, which is free, you go to tails.boum.org, download the ISO, follow their instructions to confirm it's the correct one, and burn it as an ISO onto a DVD. Do not burn a data disk with the ISO on it. You need to burn it as an ISO onto the disk so that you have a functioning Tails disk. The benefits of the disk are you cannot be infected there is no way for anybody to modify the disk from the outside. Therefore, your security, as long as you confirm that it is in fact the correct and valid version of Tails through their process they tell you, unless somebody modified it before you burnt it, there is no way to modify it ever again. So this is gonna be absolutely safe, a safe version of Tails. Now, some of us may wanna use Tails, may wanna do use it like a normal operating system, and be able to save. What you do is you pop this into any computer and you go and get yourself anything you want. I prefer the watch, just because I can actually bring it around and I don't have space in my pockets. And what happens is, is you will actually use their USB installer. When you are loading from the disk, you're gonna go under the applications menu, go to Tails, and then use the Tails USB installer. Once it's on a USB device, even from the USB device, you can install it to another USB device. So that's a bonus. You can make reserved memory on this new device, which is basically another partition that allows you to save documents. Why? 
Well, by the same token, even though this is an anonymous operating system, you can surf the internet, you can use OpenOffice, edit pictures with GIMP, and a whole bunch of other stuff. This is just basically a more anonymized version of Linux. It is a Linux. It's just that it doesn't save anything to memory unless you explicitly ask it to. This, when you close a computer, you lose the files. If you're using USB memory and make a reserve partition, the documents you write or the pictures you save will stay in that reserve partition. Now, it does rely on the Tor network, which means same rules applies as usual. You are safe and anonymous on the internet as long as plenty of people are using it in your geographic location. So what you need to do is you need to give it to your friends, your family, your neighbors, get as many people to use it as possible. In fact, that's simple. It's very simple for you to do already. Running from a disk, you just pop a whole bunch of cheap USB drives. They only have to be two gigs and you give it to everybody. They don't cost that much. Just give it to everybody. They pop it in, they start using it. The more people use it, the more people on the Tor network, the better because Tails relies on the Tor network to keep your identity anonymous. So if there's not that many people in your area using it, it's not actually anonymous. So that is a way to make it safer and more anonymous for everybody. Keep in mind that by the same token as being me being asked often, can I use this to shop online? Don't. Do not log onto any websites. Do not go onto anything that specifically attempts to track you like YouTube. Don't buy anything with your credit card because you risk, how do we say, the problem of not just getting your credit card canceled, but your accounts canceled because they may classify it as an attempt at fraud. And it's really hard to get accounts back after. So don't buy anything through it. Don't log on to any websites. Stay away from websites that track. So any Google entity whatsoever, because they will attempt to track you. Next week, have you so epically failed in your online adventures that you have been infected with this really crazy scareware virus that encrypts the whole hard drive and then puts up a screen that I will show you next week that says you have been caught doing something illegal, puts out a whole bunch of actual laws in your region with logos of the police and then asks you to pay a fine otherwise they'll send immediate legal action against you but you can't call to confirm because that would actually be telling the cops or the authorities that you have done something well next week i'm going to give you a process at how to actually clean your computer so well that nobody, no forensic examiner could ever get anything off the hard drive. Of course, neither can you. So next week, if you have so epically failed, you have terribly infected your computer, come back. I'll explain the process with another application, which is also free on how to clean your hard drive in a way that there is no way any virus can possibly survive. Remember to like this episode if you're interested in today's topic, share if you think someone else could benefit from this topic, and subscribe if you wish to learn more. For the show notes of this episode, our Android application, our newsletter, other alternate ways of subscribing to the show, and to participate by submitting your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online, and have a great day. Thank you.